Hello, I'm Larry Williams with Christie Clinic Transformations Medical Weight Loss. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple egg drop soup. This is something that would be a wonderful side with some stir fry, or if you would like maybe this just by itself. Let's get cooking. Here's the ingredients. The base is, of course, some chicken broth. You want four cups of low sodium chicken broth. You're going to have three quarters cups of shiitake mushrooms. And then you're going to add to that a quarter cup of chopped green onion. That's your base. You're putting that into your pot. You want to bring this to a boil. And while you're getting it to a boil, we can add our seasonings. As far as the seasonings are concerned, we're going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce. And again, I'm going with low sodium. You're going to put in one quarter teaspoon of white pepper. And then this is the seasoning you really want to watch because this will give your soup the fire. And this is ginger. You can put in a half teaspoon of shredded or grated ginger, or you can put in less. So once again, it just depends on how spicy you would want that. You add your seasonings. You're going to bring this to a boil. And once you have it to a boil, this is just about there. We're going to turn the temperature down to let it simmer. As it's simmering, we're going to take three eggs, slightly beaten, and then we are going to add them to the soup. Now what's going to happen is, since the soup has been boiling and it's now simmering, it is so hot that as you're adding the egg, it is going to cook. And this is where you get those nice ribbons of cooked egg in the soup that it's, it's really noted. Again, this would be a wonderful accompaniment with some stir fry. And um, you could probably get two meals out of this because you are allowed, according to the IP protocol, to have two cups of low sodium chicken broth daily. So the other ingredients that you're adding along with the protein, and if you do stir fry using some cauliflower rice, maybe throw an egg in there in your skillet and get that working really well. And then you can add whatever meat you want. You could season your meat with some sesame oil, which would really give it a nice burst of flavor. So you could potentially get two nice meals out of this. I should mention that this recipe comes compliments of Geneva Eikhoff, and the recipe can be found along with our video and then in our video files and our recipe files on our Facebook page, Christy Clinic Transformations. Or you can go to Geneva's Facebook page, Geneva's ideal recipes. Once again, I'm Larry Williams from Christie Clinic Transformations Medical Weight Loss. Thanks. Have a great day.